This is a HeadGum Original. Oh, God. Bonjour. Ah. Comment ça va? Ça va bien, ça va bien. Et bien. Bien. There you go. <laughs> What did I say? Bien. bien. Well, that's kind of how they say it in French. They don't say bien. They're like ça va bien. No. Yeah, you said it right that time. I said it right the first time and the second time mm. and the third time. No. Um. We're coming in with a lot of mismatched energy today. We've also got some segments here that are going to be polarizing for sure. Um, but let's just all introduce ourselves for the audio listeners, and then we'll get on with this shit. Let's start with Joel. The name's Joel. Moving on. Marika? My name is Marika. Brad? It's kind of... Yeah, I'm Brad. I'm mad at you. Why? Because we didn't climb? You fucking ghosted me. <laughs> <laughs> You're sick. Just focus on being sick. Which, by the way, don't focus? focus on being sick. Focus on Jeff ghosting you. Yeah. You yeah. didn't even fucking text me back. I was packing. I was I don't packing because I was trying to go to Gate Bree. I didn't know that. You told me the week before that you were going to be around and that you would go climb with me. We were supposed to go around. bouldering. We were supposed to go bouldering. All right. Well, I think Jeff was scared. Yes, Brad's oh, really what? good at climbing. I haven't climbed for like two months, right? So, so I'm not gonna. Have, I'm not gonna do I, well. I have, I, have, I, have, I have something to say about this. Yeah, revenge is a dish best served bouldering. That's awful, Joel. You said that was <laughs> no. That was really <laughs> good. Really, I really no, like that. No, he said he had I the said, best one liner. <laughs> I said jouldering, and that's yeah. gold, Joel. Yeah, no. Anyway. No, I'm sorry been... that I ghosted you. Mm. But I might come to Portland. I don't care. Why? <laughs> what do you mean, why? You know why. Yeah. Don't come to Portland. You're not oh. welcome here. <laughs> you know what? Why don't we keep Portland clear of your of you? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, seriously, though. Fuck you. I am sorry. I've been known to ghost. Not women. I usually will have a specific... Sorry, my roommate's dog just made a... I've been known to joast. Scar Joe. You call in joasted me. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have a lot to get to. Do you guys have any bullshit you want to get out of the way first before we get to the good stuff? I might edit this out. <laughs> edit I out. guess wow. not. <laughs> no, I want yeah, people to... I want people to know. Spent the last hour trying to think of a good one-liner about climbing. <laughs> and Joel, it is all billable. <laughs> <laughs> Joel, can we talk about the, um, the stuffed animals that are on the bed behind you? Yeah, what you got, bud? Let's not, actually. Are you in Philadelphia? Because, yeah, you're in, like, a gaming chair next to, like, a 2010 <laughs> Dell. I'm not in Philadelphia. <laughs> I'm not in Philadelphia, no. Philadelphia. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You're in Manila. <laughs> There's a uh, a fight going on tonight. Like like a UFC or boxing fight or like a thriller. Somebody from the <laughs> UFC follows a bunch of headgum people. I want to shout him out if he's listening to this. I don't remember his name, but you know who you are. Thanks for listening and uh please don't hurt me. Thanks for Great. listening and please don't hurt me. Right. Oh, I feel UFC ah, fighters. Right? I'm not even coming in with this Friday feeling. <laughs> TGI, yeah. I feel They're like Jeff, you, UFC fi fighters don't like just hurt people willy nilly. You'd have to go into the ring, which really? I do think we should. I think we should do. I think we should do a Logan Paul esque I'll match. Fight you. But it's you and Amir, or you and no. yeah, Brad goes first. You like really? You would beat him up for sure. <laughs> Amir, we'll you the deliver the final punch. Fight. Yeah. You'll be a ghost. 
It's come to this. It's been 150 fucking episodes before somebody threatened me with physical violence. <laughs> can't, that can't be true. Maybe no, yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely not true. <laughs> well, Amir said he wants to kill me or that he wants me to die, but not by his right. hand. Yeah, That'd I guess finished. that's fair. Not by his hand. You'd probably pay someone else to do it. Like mm-hmm. who, Brad? <laughs> Maybe. That's part well, of the no, job that would, description. That would include any one of the top brass of headgum pain, Brad. Which has yet to happen, we should say. As in, I he doesn't get paid, paid for his Let's, job? Yeah. No, well, he was texting me before I ghosted him that he hasn't um, had any pay stubs. He's only had pay snubs, which is like he sends in an invoice <laughs> and he's also like he was that's with good. me at the bouldering gym. Ghost. That's good. I, that's, I forgive you now. That was that's funny. not what should have made that happen. Yeah. When you come to Portland, <laughs> stay with me. That's no, it's not either I don't go no, or I stay door, with your ass. My door, my door is open to you. I want to stay at the Ace Hotel. I want it to get pumped. And I pumped. won't. Bye. Staying at the Ace Hotel, if HeadGum will allow. That's a Bonnie Vera reference for all if my head- <laughs> male manipulators out there. <laughs> <laughs> what, why are you coming to Portland? We're going to do a HeadGum podcast tour. I mean, let's fucking announce it right now, right? It's not. Obviously. Really? Holy shit. No, I thought we were doing 20 dates. I thought we were doing half the year. North Half to year. south. Yeah. yeah. North by northwest, south by southeast. And in Miami. Yeah. We're doing, I don't want to announce it too soon, and I'll bleep this all out if it's not true, but I think we're doing L.A., Big Sur, San Francisco, Portland, <laughs> Seattle, <laughs> Bangor, okay. Maine, Boston. We go all the way over to Bangor, Maine. It's sort of up not- the west coast. Cross country to the yeah. northeast, down to down. Miami, the and Seattle <laughs> Banger <make> pipeline. It, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we make it to Miami. I want to say December, <laughs> Oregon Trail style. Yeah, we're t- we're traveling by Horse train. And buggy. <laughs> I'll come to Portland and Seattle. We're doing a um, series of one-offs in the middle of nowhere. So I think we're doing what is it, Bethel, New York, Woodstock style. <laughs> We're doing Sugar and Falls, Ohio proper. Right. Well, that's and, the home show. And then we're doing Wichita, back to Bangor, and then home again. Home being New York. Did I pitch on the podcast the, the idea that I had where I just thought we should do, like we should rent a van, like a full a tour bus, and then just do live shows out of the tour bus and like parking lots? <laughs> You did, and I think that's a really good idea. The issue is, like, it has to be you, me, Amir, and then a fourth, right? And then he's not going to want to do that. Uh, You don't know. You never know what's up with him. Vincent Castle is my Bond of the Week. He's a French actor. There's like a blockbuster movie that I saw a bunch of ads for in Paris, and um, he's the fucking star of the shit, right? And so, um, I don't know, he looked kind of zaddy, and I wonder if it's re- if we're ready for a French daddy in terms of Bond. So it would be like, instead of dun 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 dun, dun you know, with a, an electric guitar, it would be an accordion. Accordion? An accordion? <laughs> Joel, That's where out. you play an accordion with your knee. Yes, hey, exactly hey. right. Good one, Joel. I said, Joel, help me out, and he actually did immediately. Mm-hmm. He saved that. Um, what do you guys got? What do you want to... Forget Bond of the Let's... Week. Let's just do plugs. No, I want to do Bond plugs. of the Week. Plugs? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my Bond of the Week is going to... I'm just going to go Winnie the Pooh. Bond to <laughs> pants. I'm just going to go Winnie the Pooh. I hate this well, shit. <laughs> I have a little Winnie the Pooh that's stuck to my mic arm. <laughs> so that's Brad, why I thought of it. I'm, I'm stuck between Lil Dicky and Donald Duck. No pants. Dave Bond. I, well, I think I've said, I think I've actually or. said Dave Bird before. All right, yeah, we'll yeah. go, we'll go Donald Duck then. It's time for a Bond that lives in a pond. I don't <laughs> think, I don't think Bond is hung. I don't think he swings that thing. I think that, um, cause you know what I mean? Like he hasn't had a, yeah, he hasn't had, he hasn't fucked somebody more than once the entire fucking franchise until this last movie. And then he died, which is obviously little dick energy. Spoilers. Well, spoilers. I mean, it's been out two years. He dies in the last one. And I think that's little dick energy. 
I don't Lil think. Dicky. I um. just feel like <laughs> not to not to once again bring up Casino Royale's ball torture scene, but I feel like he there must have been something to hit. Right. There was some, I'm not saying he doesn't have a dick. I'm not saying he's a eunuch. I'm saying his dick isn't thick. I'm saying that in that scene, he would have only been able to withstand that pain if he doesn't have a lot when he gets erect to gain, right? Like not that many inches. <laughs> I'm not saying yeah, it's so not I'm, girthy. I'm not, I, maybe that's where the confusion's coming in. I'm just saying that lengthwise, he's not hitting anybody's cervix. The fuck is wrong with you guys? I'm going to go with Stop Marie Antoinette. Stop rubbing your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you guys? <laughs> Milk. <laughs> guys, Lemonade. Marie Antoinette. Uh, That's pretty good. As, as Bond. That's pretty good. Let Them Eat Cake, the remake. Bond and do you think four. she was, I know that like historically she was talking about not even actual cake. She was talking about like bread. But what if she was talking about like, yeah, rimming? Uh. Yeah, they, I mean, that's true. That's sort of an unlimited resource. Like there's ass. no way a society could ever <laughs> run out of, of ass to eat. <laughs> the number one export in France. Yeah, ass. I don't know. Um, all right. Should we re-examine our relationship with work? Because I was actually reading this uh, article about workism, right? Which is uh, a pre predominantly American belief that work can provide everything that we have historically expected from, like, organized religion, right? Community, meaning, self-actualization, etc. Um, versus Europeans, and I would know because I was just in gay pre that they don't really value work as much because they historically were like a working class, you know, under a monarchy. And, you know, they kind of shed their belief that they could ever be king a while back. And so now they are just sort of a unified working class that sort of protects the simple pleasures they have, right? Cigarettes, Ricard, right? There's not much more to it than having Sundays off for sure and a retirement age that should still be 62, but thanks to Macron's white ass, it's now 64. And I did partake in a protest. What about what I just said wasn't interesting enough to respond to? <laughs> Come on! I came in with something kind of interesting to talk about. Brad's mic is muted, right? <laughs> Joel's just smiling, which I do appreciate the smile because it makes me I feel wasn't joy. Smile. Really? I, I unmuted. Marika? I just don't know what you said. Yeah. I, in I, its I, entirety. I, I actually think it's a great point, and I agree wholeheartedly. Uh, it sounds like what you're saying is we should go back to being really religious. <laughs> And that's what you agree with wholeheartedly. It is Easter weekend, we should say. This is Good Friday uh, for those who celebrate. I do not, but uh, I think it's going to be a Good Friday. And, but you uh, think th a lot of people should and that they should get more into uh, being devout. I think that we should be devout in protecting the ability to eat a two-hour lunch during the workday. Yeah, a power lunch. Raise your hand if you've ever girded your loins on Lemoyne. What? <laughs> what do you mean, cool. what? I thought that Amir would be on this episode. That's a very local Los Angeles reference. Joel's in fucking, where are you, the Maldives? Marika's in, let's say it. <laughs> <laughs> and Brad's shitting all over Portland, not letting I, it stay I weird. I was just in LA. Not on Lemoyne. Not if on I had Lemoyne. A, you were a on, local oh, you were staying with Marty. I was staying with Marty. Very close I went to the street I went I'm to about. I went to La Pharmacie du Vin. I love La Pharmacie du Vin. Yeah. I'm a part a member of their around. wine club. Yeah, we could Let have gone together. This. Shut the fuck up. Let me ask you this. You shut have... the fuck up. Joel, how you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> I feel like I'm sort of in the middle of something now. I don't think so. I think it's kind of like a like <laughs> so mad, <like>, right? 
<laughs> big cat energy. Like if you if you don't move, they'll ignore you, sort of thing. Should we try like when a like when a bee is trying to sting you? Scratching his tummy a little. The question was. Raise your hand if you've ever girded no your raising. loins. No one's raising their hand. On Lemoyne. Yeah, no one's heard. raising your hand. You've never girded your loins on the street called Lemoyne in Echo Park? Oh, I actually did do that when I was there. Everybody's talking about this Trump indictment. You know who I'd like to indict? Brad. <laughs> For it. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you know what? He lands in LA and he gives himself up. He girds his loins. Gives himself up as I mean, like he's, yeah, spread. Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Is it something I said or done to yeah, make you both. guys just really yeah. both? Yeah. Well, um, can we get to the polarizing segments you have planned? Well, we have to take ad breaks before we do that. I, I actually, I just canceled all the ads on the show. So, yeah, you guys haven't been doing a good job selling this shit. All right, I do great ad reads. <laughs> you do do great ad reads. Yeah, it's probably the best part of the show. I was actually thinking you are like you sort of uniquely suited for this because so many brands are kind of about like improving yourself. That when you come in and you're like, <laughs> you're like it's you only know, up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can like, only go I up. I sleep like shit. My personal relationships are bad. Here are some ways you can improve them. It feels really genuine. So maybe you're not good as a podcast host in the sense of the podcast being good, but the ads are truly believable and the ads are what gets us the cash. So that's ultimately what's important. It's a really good mm -hmm. selling point. So as you become point, a worse sure. host and a worse person, you're actually more monetizable for the company. That's legitimately how I'm going to sell this show from now on. <laughs> yeah, I think you should. Yeah. How does it feel to make a brown man sad? You don't look sad. Oh, 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 yeah. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Guys, getting to know yourself can be a lifelong process, right? It's all a journey. <laughs> the other day I realized that uh, when I have nothing to do, when I have idle hands and only time on my uh, schedule, I'm really anxious. If anything, I'm maybe more anxious than when I'm busy because I'm like, shit, like, did I not respond to somebody? Uh, is somebody mad at me? Is there something I need to be doing? Uh, versus when I'm busy, I'm just focusing on the task at hand, and ironically, I'm more present, right? And so that's something that's useful for me to know and useful to talk about in therapy, and that's where BetterHelp comes in, because BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on that journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. I'm in therapy every week, and it really helps me along my personal growth journey. Cannot recommend it enough. If you guys have access to it, which BetterHelp makes it easier for, uh, you should absolutely give it a try. It's entirely on online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge if it's not working. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash What's That today to get 10% off your first month. Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash What's That? Thanks, BetterHelp. We're gonna fuck up some rides. Um, would you guys say that you've found your beach? Meaning? Like Corona style, like have you found what brings you peace and joy? Yeah. Which oh, is the beer. climbing. Is that it? No, that's not it. That's one thing. You you're in a loving, gainful relationship. Yeah, that spending time with friends, music, playing animals. music with friends, animals, yeah. spending time with animals, reality TV. No, not so much. Really? Because this next segment, you're not going to get then. Great. Marika, have you found your beach? Yeah, it's, it's probably like sitting in a theater watching a play or a musical. Joel? My beach is Domino <laughs> Park. Domino Park a is a burrito great. and a picnic blanket. I thought you were going to say, my beach is this Dell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How 
Have you guys seen Milf Manor? Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, I'm gonna Definitely let, not. let's Never throw to a of it. let's throw to a clip here. This is Milf Manor on TLC. Cheers! Cheers. Oh, oh, hey guys, I got a text. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, All right. Welcome to the villa, Lisa and Ryan. We have an activity plan that is sure to get you well acquainted with oh. the other moms and sons. Guys always think they know what you want in the bedroom, facts. But <laughs> do funny. they really? Truth <laughs> is, if anyone knows about sex, it's us ladies. You have the age, wisdom, and experience. And now we are giving you the opportunity to share that carnal knowledge with your sons. No. Oh, my God. Carnal <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> so that is basically what the show is. It's these MILFs, right? And then their sons <laughs> dating the other MILFs and vice versa. Um, and so I thought we could play MILF Manor, but instead of m mothers I'd like to fuck, it's Marika I'd like to fire, right? So <laughs> me, Brad, and Joel are going to be the young studs. And Marika, you're the MILF, but MILF stands for Marika I'd like to fire. <laughs> So the three of us are going to basically try and like spit game at you, but it's all how we would let you go without severance. Does that make sense? <laughs> without, without severance, severance? specifically? Of course not. That, Why would you get a severance what, package? If I was that's fired? what makes the knowledge carnal is the fact there's no <laughs> severance. Uh, let's start with Joel. Joel, you're a young stud on a Mexico beach. You sidle up to Marika and you have to break the news that she's no longer employed at HeadGum. What do you Wait, say? Is, uh, Wait, as, what? As these, <laughs> as these so-called young studs that are on a beach, I guess. <laughs> sure. Are you also my boss or are you just telling me you heard, you what overheard about this from isn't Marika? Clear, right? <laughs> it's Milf Manor. Milf standing for Marika, I'd like to fire. Right, Joel right, is right. Joel at HeadGum. Okay. I am me at this at 1099. Brad is Brad at Headgum, right? So, but we so are the young. Heard, yeah. You all heard from the higher ups. <laughs> the C suite made the choice, and uh -huh. we just, for some reason, have to deliver the news at studs okay. on a beach. On a beach. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Why am I on the beach? You could be, you know, at home for all I care. The issue is it's oh, yeah, I'll stay. I'll stay home. Okay. Joel, why don't you deliver the news? How would you? Marika. Uh, can I buy you a pina colada? I don't know how that would work. <laughs> so I'm at home. Unless you could like deliver a pina colada to my house. I thought you were coming to the office today and the office is the beach. The office is the beach? News to me. Well, it, that actually was your office. But <laughs> I'm sorry to say that uh, we're going to need to let this birdie fly away. Spread your wings and fly, Marika. Ditch this shithole and uh, <laughs> find something better. Wow. What? Who? Who are you pointing to? You don't have any response? You just got fired. Yeah, but it was oh, kind yeah, of confusing. By the way, no severance. <laughs> <laughs> now it's clear. Now it's clear. <laughs> Say Fini? Fin. Okay. That was great, Joel. Especially the part where you like tried to give it a soft, you like you tried to soften it by like giving it this wing metaphor and then said, oh yeah, by the way, <laughs> no severance. <laughs> Cutting her off mid-sentence too. Marika, if you were one of the MILFs at MILF Manor, but MILF stands for Marika I'd like to fire, how are you mm -hmm. taking it from Joel there? How are you taking that news? I think I would be ultimately a little confused because the metaphor was a little rough at first. It was kind of just like this this little birdie needs to spread its wings, but it wasn't yeah. clear the birdie was. And then once he said, and by the way, no severance, then it was clear. I think I wouldn't handle it well, um, but, you know... I'd probably ask for confirmation from somewhere else. Yeah. All right, um, Brad. Okay. Um, hey, Marika, I'm on a beach. How's it going? That's really fun. 
Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to conference you in with Marty. Jeff, you play Marty. Okay. Here's Marty. Guys, you have no idea. <laughs> 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 Let me... <laughs> oh, sorry. The, the, the call drop, call drop with Marty. Sorry, Marie. Anyway, uh, he he wanted me to let you know that you're fired and there's no severance. Yeah, but I am sending you a pina colada in the mail. Oh, it's, thank you. Should should be there next week. Uh, FedEx tracking is updating. It's just saying pending, right. so it might it might be melted. Um, yeah, but that's, no, it for sure will be, but yeah, I appreciate that's the sentiment. Technically, your severance. Severance is the melted yeah. pina colada. Joel says hi, by box. the way. He's on the beach. Why? Do you want to you talk to Joel? No. What I have to say is that somehow Brad's was worse than Joel's. And Joel like went on about wings for half of the call. Marika, what did you think about Brad's attempt? Um, I thought Brad's attempt was fine. I thought it was a good idea to loop in Marty. I just think that Marty was caught at a bad moment. Um, and it didn't reflect well upon him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but and then compared to Joel's, which one would you have rather been told that your shit can without severance? I think Brad's Mine. because I think, like, ultimately, that would that would give me some leverage. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess it's my turn. Um. <clears throat> Hello, Marika. Hi. Hey. Uh, it's Jeff. Yeah, I know. Uh, anywho, uh, um, I'm on a beach. <laughs> Great. And uh, are you surfing? I'm surfing the web to find articles on the about beach. On the beach, physically, but the subject that the articles are on. Is how to let someone go with grace. That seems like a good step for you. I feel like you need some sorts of guidance when it comes to just like communicating with people openly. So you're gone. Sorry, you're shit canned without severance. What were you saying? I was talking about how you're bad at communicating with people. Um, No exit package. And I am listening, but no exit package. you're listening to what? What you're saying about I, I get that. I need I need to communicate better and that yeah. Right. But it is because of your performance and personality. Does that make sense? No. Bottom line. <laughs> Bottom line. No. What? what? Honestly, I don't think she's fired. You didn't Yeah. She denied. I said you're shit canned. Yeah, but that could mean anything. I think you have to say you're f- motherfucking fired. Oh. <laughs> how did sure. mine go this bad? <laughs> I had all morning to think about how I was going to do this. Say <laughs> All right. Which between the three did you like? Like if you're going to get fired, which one would you want it to be? <sighs> Keep in mind, you've known me the longest. So it maybe right. But I don't want you to fire me. You just didn't even have Joel in it. Yeah, that's true. I got to go with Brad. What? I just think it was like a good type of chaos that at the end of the day, I could probably come away from that meeting and be like, was I actually fired? And then just show up to work again and then people don't have the heart to tell you twice. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, yeah, that's the end of Milf Manor, the way I spun it. Who do you think would make the best contestant on the TV version of the show? Head a head gum? I don't know. Probably you. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> Welcome to Spanked or Raw. Go on. 
can we just take a minute to look at the gradient that I did in the background here? Do you, does that ring true to your guys' asses? There's something wrong with his thumb. Yeah. Well, forget the his thumb. I mean, the, scary. Are you asking the background's the supposed to be about and red and white, cheeks. Pink and white gradient rings true to all of our asses. <laughs> is what the question that you're asking. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I, I think the tone is somewhere in there. The name of the game is Spanked or Raw. Do you guys want to guess what this is? No. Brad? Uh, I'm guessing that we're going to have to listen to sound bites of someone either getting spanked or having unprotected sex. <laughs> That's maybe better than what I came up with. <laughs> well, Joel? Any guesses? Brad was wrong, an, we should say. An image of a tuchus that's either untouched or just that's has also been more fun already. I love that no. word. I thought of this game as I was walking the hallowed halls of Le Louvre. Oh and that's God. not a joke. I am going to show you guys photos of 10 celebrities. And you have to tell me whether you think they were spanked as children. Mm. Or if they weren't, which is what I call raw. Mm. So, like you Brad, were you, this was that? In, you thought of this in one of the most famous art museums, correct? Okay, Brad, Why? were you spanked as a kid? Yeah, I was. Okay, so okay, Marika, were you spanked as a kid? Yeah, Joel, were you, holy shit, Joel, were you spanked <laughs> as a kid? No. Okay, so Joel is raw. Wow. Joel Brad. is someone I would call raw. Because yeah, he didn't we got, kid, we got the definition. I'm just trying to make shit clear, all right? Which for some people is also the onus of spanking. Were you spanked as a kid? I think like twice. Do you want to talk about it? Not really. Okay. Have you guys seen Oliver? I'm going to see Oliver the musical. What? I thought you meant... Kyle's son. All right, let's just play spanked or raw. Here we go. Spanked or raw? Raw. Yeah, for sure. He's got a raw <laughs> energy. For sure. When why yeah. is this? Why is that? Because of this, he's just so joy. He's the light in his eyes yeah. would be gone. Exactly. Like right. mine. Like mine and Marika's. <laughs> I really wanted Brad's response to be like, spanked as a kid. Hell, I'm still spanked when I go home for Christmas. <laughs> Laugh, right? It's fine to have joy. This is a fun, lighthearted segment about child abuse. Yeah, I don't, I don't go home for Christmas. Spanked or raw? <laughs> <laughs> spanked. He's spanked. he's older. Yeah, yeah, he's from an older generation. Yeah. I just, I think spanking him would hurt your own hand. That's what I was, I was gonna, gonna say. Did child. You- do you yeah. did you guys see those photos of this guy when he was like 14? He looks like no. a fucking 50-year-old. He was born with a rock hard ass. <laughs> That's why they Wh- call him the rock. <laughs> Women don't want rock hard abs. They want rock hard ass. His dad was Let's a hard ass. I honestly feel like if Joel had said that, you guys would have cracked the fuck up. It's just that you no. guys have this weird vendetta against everything I say. It's not you weird. Don't. Spanked or raw? Who is that? Rob Billy Thomas? Ray Cyrus. <laughs> Billy Ray Cyrus. No way. Cool. Wait, is it really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. That was uh, Dave Grohl. Spank. He had something far <laughs> no, worse than Spank. No, <laughs> He was Grohl. held in a well for a year. Forget <laughs> Spank. <laughs> he was definitely Spanked. Well, well hair, I'm going to take my ass to the old town road. I'm going to get Spanked by my own dad. <laughs> Kind of funny that like the biggest <laughs> song of the last century was made by Billy Ray Cyrus. I think Gangnam Style sold more. He was that. on he was on the remix, Joel. He didn't make it. Just to be clear, yeah, it was Lil Nas X. Spanked or raw? Oh, spanked. Spanked for sure. And he's still he getting spanked. Been, I think. He, yeah, I'm with Joel. Still getting spanked by Fetty Wap, but no, I think he. I think he should have <laughs> been spanked. Um. I don't think he got spanked, and I think that that's why he had the confidence to run for office and the confidence to have the show, honestly. I agree that he should have been spanked. And if you look at the sound 
wave length of the episode, you'll see that every time I say something, there's like a three second pause <laughs> where y'all don't either don't know what to say or don't care to respond. Spanked yeah. or raw? Who's that? Gwyneth Paltrow. I want to say. I, this is hard because she's a nepo baby, right? Yeah, and she was famous from a young age, going to Hollywood. I'm gonna parties say raw. Yeah, she age. didn't. Yeah, yeah, I think raw. she's raw. Her parents yeah. weren't present enough to spank. They weren't her around. Yeah. yeah. Eventually, she had to there's, wait for there's someone. There's no like ding 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 when we get it right. I just oh, this is all subjective. It's not a it's game. It's also like I, I don't thought know, you sort of did the research. I don't want to think that Where? Blythe <laughs> Danner hit her child. You know. You want to think that? I said I don't want to think that. Oh, okay. What database, Joel, would I have found the data on whether or not they got spanked? It's Uh, all subjective. It's all guesstimating. I mean, you texted me and Pyle asking if we could get into the mainframe and get that information for you. The mainframe. Spanked or raw? (laughs) To change... I don't like looking at the queen. (laughs) (laughs) I think spanked. Look at how, like, there's not a lot of life behind her eyes. Definitely I mean, not I, a lot of life behind her eyes. Well, this was only last time she died. She is dead. Yeah. yeah. Spanked or raw? Who is that? <laughs> Charlie Munger. <laughs> it's like one of the richest guys ever, and he's like 98 and Ugh. doesn't spanked. spend his money. Spanked and definitely wearing a diaper in that photo. <laughs> yeah, I'll agree. Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie needs a change. And judging by the look on his face, it might be full. <laughs> He's, he loves it. Yeah. He's proud of this his diaper. Um so you think not only spanked as a kid, but also diapered as a kid and adult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spanked or raw? Raw. Raw, right? But spanked as an adult, maybe. I, I think like he pays... I think... Let me finish! <laughs> I think he's into, he's into something weird, but it might not be spanking. What do you think it is? Professional cuddling? Where, you know, you kind of pay somebody to cuddle you? Uh, it could be the new fetish I heard about this week. Which is? The new. New to me, I should say. Uh... <laughs> It's fin dom plus chin dom. So you're getting extorted financially by your dentist. And also they mess up your jawline. (laughs) Zac Efron was into that, right? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That was fucked up. (laughs) Uh, Spanked or raw? Who is that? That's the situation. Oh. Yeah, probably spanked. 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 Yep. That was the most unanimous one so far. Spanked or raw? Who's that? Mr. Mr. Beast. Beast. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. Like, I mean, yeah. I think he w- has the confidence of someone who's never been sort of... I don't yeah. think he's yeah. been spanked. Should have been, though. Bent over yeah. someone's knee, yeah. 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 Good segment. It's interesting. We were pretty aligned. Um, I think that's not the only interesting thing that we learned from this segment. We learned that Brad sort of had his cheeks reddened as a child. (laughs) This is the kind of stuff I would have learned if we'd gone climbing, Brad. Yeah, I actually had a really good time at the climbing gym in LA too. It was nice. I, I like met some people, hung out for a while, got some good food recommendations. Me too, me too. And then I walked from the studio to Amoeba Records. Stopped wow. at a couple parks. It was a nice day. Got a cool, rare record at Amoeba. I'd never been there. Brad, do you want to buy my speakers? I have speakers. Mine are better. I guarantee it. Audio Engine A5 Plus. Built-in Bluetooth <laughs> capabilities. RCA uh, input. Aux input. Ox input. Sorry? That's a selling point. <laughs> I don't fucking care. I just am trying to sell a bunch of shit. I'm trying Why? to sell. Why? 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 Why are you trying to sell stuff? I don't know. I need cash. I want to put some money into my fucking high yield savings account. Joel knows what I'm talking about. And I want to make sure that I don't have a lot of clutter, right? 
Why do I need three rugs in a bedroom? One is fine. That's a good question. Three rugs in one that. room. Well, so. Damn. They're like the layered style. Yeah. Uh, what else am I trying to sell? I'm trying to sell my tape deck, my Nakamichi 480. I'm trying to sell my Grateful Dead collect- tape collection because I never listen to them. Uh, I'm trying to sell uh, my moped. And you, uh, How long have you had it? The moped, I've had it for like a year. Oh. Um, I actually was supposed to sell it today, but the guy didn't show. Mm-hmm. I also he ghosted a- you? Sorry, I said he ghosted you? I heard you. Do you think I have this show so that people can come on here and say whatever the fuck they want to me? I have this show, so I sit on a throne, right? We should make you a throne for the the live shows. The live shows. So you're confirming a tour. You're confirming I'm not, a tour in I'm Portland. I'm saying for all future LA, live shows. Big Sur, San Francisco, Portland, we, Seattle, over to Bangor, Bangor, down the coast, Boston, New York, Philly, D.C., Charleston, Charleston, Charleston. We're doing a residency there for a year. And then we're going to go down to Miami. Yeah. Pop. That's going to be the daddy-themed episode, right? So it's only going to be daddies uh, on the show. So it's going to be me, Brad, Joel, Marika. Can we fly Joel out to Portland? Can we fly Brad out to Portland? I got a throne guy in Bangor. (laughs) What? (laughs) You on a first date? (laughs) You brought a throne to the restaurant? (laughs) Oh, this? Yeah, I have a throne guy in Bangor. I got to go to the bathroom. Can you uh, watch the throne while I'm gone? That was good. Yeah, I agree. I was just trying to think of a kink-related joke. PG, as in Paris Jeff. I bought this ring across the street (laughs) from Jim Morrison's last residence on Boutreus Street. Oh, did you go visit his grave? No, Père Lachaise was closed by the time I got my A's over there. Sucks. Not really, because I had a cigarette and french fries with a bottle of wine. And did I mention a Cronenberg, a Pelferth, and a, oh yeah, hot chocolate in the French fashion. I had the best whipped cream I've ever had in my entire life, and I came on a velvet sofa. What's, uh, what's French for French fries? They you know? frites. Pom, pom frites. Pom frites, but nobody calls them pom frites on menus. They call them des frites, fries, right? When you're at a they fucking wouldn't call them day gastro frites. pub. They would just- <laughs> No, they would. You're not they're ordering. Frites. You're not ordering. You wouldn't just say frites. frites. Sure, you would. No, you wouldn't. Do you take French? I literally grew up speaking French. Really? Yeah. <laughs> in Gay Paris yeah. or no? In Eastern Canada, you would have Eastern known this Canada. about it. Montreal. That's what you would have talked about if we gone climbing. And now I'm glad I didn't go. I don't want to hear about your childhood unless it's about honestly getting getting spanked. spanked. Uh, plugs. What do you guys got going on? What do you want to point the people to? Let's skip Marika because I feel like Brad and Joel are the only ones who ever, you know, have projects going on. Let's say I'm going to plug the newest HeadGum podcast, Exploration Live. They were great at the live show in New York. I've listened to about four of their episodes in the last week. Everyone should check them out. You can follow me on Instagram at Joel Dunoff. The account is private, so again, it will be accepted on a case by case basis. But by all means, so shoot don't your shot. plug it. So don't plug it in front of thirty <laughs> thousand people. <laughs> they can shoot their shot, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Still waiting for that uh, that follow back from Joel. Why are you waiting on that? Why aren't you sure it's never going to happen? Yes, guy can hope. Marika, I thought you were skipping me. Well, you said you had a project. When did I say that? Well, you said it with your eyes when I said you didn't have any projects. Yeah, when I pulled out my phone to look at it. Uh, follow me on, at Marie Galon on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. Really want to get those Letterboxd follows up. Listen to the pit wall. Listen to the pit wall. That's all. And uh, at Jeffrey James on Instagram. Uh, we'll see you guys again next week. Uh, oh, don't, what do you mean, what the fuck? Brad, oh, don't skip Brad. Oh, don't skip. Yeah, don't skip No, Brad. He's, he's used to skipping Brad. That's true. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Believe it when I when I 
when I feel I was going to text you that I was sorry, but then I was like, I saw that you were on this episode on the calendar and I thought it'd be funny to see what your reaction would be if I didn't mention it at all until we yeah. came on the show. Right. But instead it was just kind of you earnestly being sad, which is worse. Being Brad. <gasps> see, I keep feeling bad and then you say shit like that and I'm just like, keep feeling Brad. Where... Follow me on Instagram at Brad the Human. And go, uh, go watch Hive Mind. It's like this show. Everyone goes to Jeff. Oh, actually, I do have something to plug. Uh, this comes out April 14th. On April 17th. That's my wife's birthday. <gasps> wow. Happy birthday, Mrs. What is it? The Human? <laughs> <laughs> At Brad the Human. Is that your last name? The Human? Yeah. Moret um, the Human. Moret the Human. Everyone wish her happy birthday in the comments. And now back to whatever Jeff has to say. Go uh, ahead. Monday night, April 17th, uh, tune into The Neighborhood on CBS. It's my television debut. Whoa. So. Yay. Wow. <laughs> 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 uh, let's get the fuck out of here and enjoy our weekends. That's da. was a HeadGum original.